back. I am back in the office, back in New York, back to vlogging in New York. I love it. Um, today is actually going to be a daily vlog. So this vlog is going to just be today. It's Monday in NYC and I figured I haven't really done like just vlogging one day in so long because it's usually always the weekly ones. I think it's just good to do that because you actually get to see what we'll do on like a regular Monday and this really is going to be a typical Monday. We have lots of admin work to do, we're writing blog posts, um, planning videos for the next couple of weeks. We are going on holidays next week with our family. We leave next Monday, so today week. So yeah, this is gonna be a bit of a crazy week again. So I'll vlog today and this will go live tomorrow and then I'll also vlog the rest of the week, but that'll go live in like a separate video next week. So I will be showing you everything and our parents actually get here. They're gonna be in New York for two nights next weekend, so Saturday and Sunday, and then we all leave together to go on holidays on Monday, so that should be fun. It's going to be busy, jam-packed as usual when they're here. Lots of eating out and stuff. Um, we booked the boat house actually for Saturday night. If you're familiar with New York, it's the restaurant in Central Park. But they've been doing it up, so it's been closed the last, like, I think like maybe four or five months. Definitely since Christmas anyway. So it's just reopened, I think, this week. So we booked in for Saturday night. Our parents love it there. And then the boys are going to come with us. So yeah, six of us in there on Saturday night, so it should be really nice. So I'll be sure to vlog that that'll be in the next one but today's vlog is going to just be us at home if you've seen the office tour you'll already have seen this room and fyi this is how the desk usually looks messy <laughs> things in the corner this is like our kind of our corner over there for things we have to like sort through so yeah that's the update i'm going to catch up now on some admin work and get kind of sorted and then later on we're actually going to go out and about because I'm filming the dining room tour tomorrow. It's the last room and it's like 99% finished but I have to pick up the last few bits for it so I'm going to bring you with me for that and I also there was something else I like to do. Oh, I gotta go to the bank and like boring stuff like that but I'll bring you out and about with me later and I also have a few new bits to show you that have come in. I got a new camera. I want to show you that. So yeah, let me just do a bit of work and then I will check in again soon and Kaylin will be back by then as well. <laughs> How are you, Kaylin? I'm great. <laughs> so positive and chirpy today. <laughs> <laughs> um, in the Coachella vlog, I think it was what, like three people? No, two people. <laughs> well, it was actually different. One Kayla person said I was on my phone a lot. Which, I mean, I was, because when Eric is vlogging, like, I'm just like, yeah. there, and like, just trying to make myself busy, you know? So I was like, doing emails or posting photos, yeah. but you know. Basically, two people commented, and they're like, tell your sister, or someone said, tell the other girl. <laughs> no, me. But well, I feel like if you my watch name. my vlogs, like, you know that we're sisters at this mm -hmm. stage. Like, she must have just been someone who, like, yeah. doesn't watch very she often. said, one of them said I looked really moody. And like, and I'm not moody, she said I looked really annoyed every time Erica put the camera on me. But like, I didn't. Like, the thing about vlogging is like, it only shows like a snippet, like a really snippet. I just have like, snippet. I think a, a resting bitch face <laughs> whenever she puts the camera on me. Maybe it's cause like, we spend a lot of time together, yeah. like constantly in my face. But we're you know? both used to vlogging too, so we're kind of just like, we know when the other person's vlogging and like, say now, it's different because we're like both in it now, but say if I'm like, trying to talk to the camera, like, you kind of just like, look away, you don't want to be like, well, I mean, sometimes I don't expect you to put it on yeah, me. And I'm just so like, funny. you know, thinking about something else. I think um, YouTube, though, I will say, it like really gives you a tough skin. Mm -hmm. Like, you see these comments and like, you just, you really learn to like kind of move past them. You know, we just kind of laugh about them now. Like, yeah. obviously, if it's like constructive criticism, we don't laugh. We take it on board. Yeah. But when it's things that people say that we know aren't true, we've really got good at like just kind of laughing it off and just yeah. kind of, you know, not taking it too seriously, which just I think is like the, the best truth, way to do yeah. it. Like if you're a fellow YouTuber or a blogger and you have to deal with that stuff too, I think the best way is to just like try and try and look at and the funny side. Them. Maybe be like, like I just answered her and I was like, look, I just like look like that sometimes when the camera <laughs> goes on me. Or like I was posting a photo and I was on my phone, you know, obviously it's Coachella yeah. and you have like a million photos to post. You're going to be on your phone, like, you know, yeah. sometimes. But. but anyway, that's just what we were thinking about mm -hmm. when we were vlogging this. But I want to show you what we're working on so you can actually see what we do. Okay, so Kevin, what are you working on? This looks good. 
it's just a newsletter we started doing these about a month ago so it just like shares all the content um usually on a monday so like the blog posts the videos from last week some things on erica's wish list and some of her instagrams also so i'm just finishing up that now and so i'm be sending sure it out. to sign up <laughs> yeah we'll leave we a link out. in the description box and you can sign up and just in case you miss anything you know yeah so basically we do a email newsletter so you can easily like really easily sign up we just actually started this i'd say a month ago, a month ago it's yeah. pretty new but we're really enjoying it and it's like i think anyone who's signed up is really enjoying it too because if you do happen to miss a video or a blog post or something just like a quick reminder in your emails you can easily click through to see the post or the video and then we also share other stuff in there too like things that are on my wish list mm -hmm. or like instagram posts and, and like we will be doing some, more like if you have like any news we share that like exclusively in the newsletter yeah so um i write a little bit at the start of each newsletter and it's like kind of like a quick catch-up on a monday and it's stuff that maybe i haven't said anywhere else so it's like exclusive mm -hmm. <laughs> not that it's like that exciting but you know if it's like extra if you want extra stuff this is a good place so i'll leave a link in the description box if you want to sign up it's really quick and easy isn't it it just takes like mm -hmm. two seconds yeah. and then you'll get this email to your inbox and then i am doing emails the bane of my life i was posting an instagram picture <laughs> all the usual and then we also i'll show you as well because people ask us about this too i think we did this in vlogmas did we about like our um content calendar and like how we plan the week mm -hmm. okay so this for example is our april one um obviously we're coming to the end of that now um today is on the next one in may but this is an example of what we do so last week so we have blog youtube instagram and then if we have any drafts due to brands that we're working with so last week we had a coachella vlog on monday all the vlogs are blue like the videos and then all the blog posts are red we did an instagram for clues as well on monday um tuesday was a blog post and then we did the office tour i was working with all as well on the instagram post so it just really helps us like plan out and did something with rimmel on thursday so we do this kind of as far in advance as we can so we're really able to you know put in so i don't want to have like sponsored posts every day or i want to really like mix in you know the work that i do with brands and then also like just posts we're posting regularly so we did a shopping post all about bold colors that trend then the office tour was obviously not sponsored so always really important to me to be able to mix both of them because obviously I have to do sponsored stuff or else I wouldn't be able to do any of the free stuff because this takes a lot of time and it's my business but I always want to make sure that I'm not giving you sponsored stuff every single day because you'll just get really sick of that obviously so yeah this is kind of how we do it so if you are a fellow blogger or youtuber this could be useful to do something like this and look at the email it just came in this is an example of what our newsletter looks like so be sure to sign up if you want to get them to Okay, about an hour later, I figured I might show you a few new bits that have come in because I never really do this on the vlog here and some of you do enjoy it, so I'll really, really quickly do it. Um, as I said, we're going on a trip next week, so I've been getting a few new bikinis and stuff, and these are all from a brand called Solid and Stripe. Um, straight off the bat, they are not cheap. They actually sent these to me. They haven't like asked me to put them in the vlog or anything. I'm just like showing you because they're a really cool brand. This I thought was really cool. It's like a swimsuit, kind of has like Baywatch vibes or something um just plain like a really nice blue and cream and then this is a bikini then i also got some new clues watches this one i've actually had before but i somehow managed to break it so i got a new one because it's definitely one of my favorites i forget the exact name but this is one that i used to wear literally all the time but this is the current one that i'm wearing all the time but i wanted this back in my life as well and then i got the garcon or garcon i don't know how to pronounce it i got it in white as well i have the gold on today and then i got it in white so they're the new in clues watch Watches. I also got some goodies from Urban Decay. Uh, I haven't opened these properly yet. Let me see. Ooh, really nice packaging. Oh, bronzers. This one is an eyeshadow palette. Um, are they liners? I think they are. Right, here. I find it really hard to like read through the camera. Oh, it's eye pencil. Interesting. And then these are lipsticks, different colors. So I'll definitely try them out. They look kind of like 
holiday tropicals maybe I'll bring some of them with me and the last kind of new thing I want to show you which is, is very different to the rest of these but if you're into any kind of tech stuff or cameras you might be interested in seeing this but Canon actually sent me a new camera which is insane but they basically saw that I use this camera all the time so obviously probably not the people like Canon probably their PR teams saw that I use this so let me go closer and show you I use their M6 EOS M6 it's a mirrorless camera and I've used this for about a year now and I think it worked out altogether about a thousand dollars so like it's not a crazy cheap camera but as soon as I started using this I really did see a difference the lens is quite like wide but it's like a wide angle lens so it's one of these lenses that you can see quite a bit in the camera like obviously you can um, zoom it in and then it does go wide but they basically have a brand new launch so I think it's like this is their newest one and it's the EOS M50 it says it up here EOS M50 and they gave me the white one which is really nice because I already have the black in the M6 so it's cool now to have a white one it also comes in black I think it's Canon's first ever 4K mirrorless camera, which is really exciting. So the quality is really good. And then the lens I got with it is the 15 to 45 millimeter lens. And so what I'll do actually, I'll just show you what this is like to vlog. So I'll switch over to this camera for the next clip and you'll see. Okay, so this is the camera. Ooh, it feels so much lighter. Let me just walk around a bit and you can see what it's like. And sorry if my hand is shaky, I just had coffee, but as you can see, really vibrant. I need to figure out how to make it a bit less bright though. I'm sure there's like a setting. I haven't played around with that as much yet. Let's just walk around. I'm sorry if my apartment is messy. <laughs> I didn't think I was gonna do this. I'm not gonna show you the dining room because that's coming off in the tour this week. But yeah, it's very steady. Feels really smooth to shoot. Um, the light like adjusts really nicely. Really like it. So yeah, I'll definitely keep you updated on how I'm liking it. I'll go back to my regular camera now just for today because I'm just not used to this camera enough to film a vlog actually today. But I'll definitely film some future videos on this camera too and I'll let you know how it goes. Probably will bring it on my trip because as I said, it's lighter so it'll be very good for travel. So I'll keep you updated as always. And now I'm gonna tidy up here, go back to the other camera and finish up our office work and then we'll be heading out. Okay. Bit more casual, put on my runners, we're gonna try and walk, get some steps in. I haven't left the apartment yet today because we've been working. She have a key. <laughs> this reminds me of Vlogmas. I recently lost my keys again. Shock. If you watch Vlogmas, you'll understand that. Some things never change. Goldy though, more gold so than cream. Mm. <laughs> Got myself a smoothie, guys. Pretty good. It's the fountain of youth with ginger. Ginger for the cold. I'm trying to get rid of. Juice press is good. Oh yeah, a cheese plate would be so nice right now. No, I meant a cheese plate. Oh, a cheese plate. <laughs> I was about to say with jam and crackers. <laughs> and pastrami. That would be super adulty and super chic. 
You should get one and host a party Friday night. Guys, look at this outdoor furniture situation. Oh, the dream. Look at that black and white couch. Stunning. No love for the place Matt in CB2, so we came to Bloomingdale's and accidentally ended up in their new shoe floor. <gasps> so nice. I saw so many pairs that I want. I'm half tempted to get, um, well, not today, but I'm looking at the Dior ones, you know, the pointy toe, like flat, kind of, a little bit of a heel Dior shoes. They're so nice. But yeah, got distracted, but we're gonna keep going now and go to the home, home floor. It's going down. What floor is it? Okay, made it. You surely should get something here. Hey guys, found the perfect one. Guess how much they are? Like, this material is like see through. $42. <laughs> like, I can't, I can't just buy that. That is a rip off. These pigs are like an absolute cheese. No. Just say what so I would say that again. No. back home got them i found them in there much cheaper i got them for like nine dollars each which probably still is a little bit expensive but much better than 42. So tommy did the food shopping he's making dinner um gonna eat now just get myself organized and then do a little bit more i gotta get all those pictures hung up on the wall for tomorrow and yeah a few more bits i have to finish a blog post as well so it's gonna be a bit of a busy evening but we'll get it all done so good vegetable curry yum so starving and tommy has chicken for himself i'm just gonna do veg okay finished dinner back in comfy clothes i'm gonna make myself quite comfortable because I have to get editing this vlog now because uh, it's going live tomorrow so I probably will leave it here I won't be doing anything exciting for the rest of the night <laughs> Ken's gone home um, Tommy's gone to the gym and then as soon as I finish the video I'll probably go to sleep um, I was gonna hang up all the pictures on the walls and stuff tonight but honestly me and Tommy are like half wrecked so I might leave that until tomorrow um I hate putting things off but you know when you're just like so tired and you can face into those like DIY jobs like I just can't even think about it right now <laughs> so I think I'll leave it till tomorrow um but I will finish the vlog here now so I'll get this video done so I hope you enjoyed the daily vlog for a change um it's good to switch it up I actually really loved vlogging like a whole day because often in the weekly vlogs I kind of vlog like a little bit of every day and it's never really a full day so it's nice to just do one day for a change so let me know what you think I'll definitely try and mix in more daily vlogs with the weekly vlogs if you like them obviously if you don't I will never do them again <laughs> well maybe I will but I won't do them that often <laughs> but just let me know in the comments what you think and I will see you in the next video thanks so much for watching bye Thank you.